shape of Obama, but he, you know, you can feel what he was trying to say. So it's so beautiful. It's a beautiful time. I think that you know, it's a time that you know that the Lord sent it. It's, you know, it's our time. I'm just sitting here at the control tower at this moment, waiting on the land. B I C T O R. Hold a while. Definitely. Let's hold a while. Keep hope alive and keep changing lives. Thank you, brother. Peace. Keep a good work up. Definitely. Teach those kids. All right. Keep hope alive and keep changing lives. We're here at the Democratic Convention, uh, Democratic uh, headquarters in Plainfield, New Jersey. Again, I'm the Reverend Zachary and Jackson, the Church of the Sacrament. Now, I'm, you know, I'm out here in the trenches with the people. I was able to be there this morning. Um, I was able to vote, and of course, you know, like anything, I'm out here trying to vote myself, and the machine got stuck on me. And of course, everybody blamed me, but machine got stuck. We got the machine right after we got on the right, got our telephone with the people, and we got everything right. So, the idea is this right here, the right exactly right. The church was happening now. We're definitely here to stay. We're going to do more community work. As I said earlier, and you hear over and over, God put the sun up in the sky. But, we still have to cultivate the land. The land must be cultivated. What do I mean by that right there? Hey, Barack is going to send as that sun in the sky. We still got work in our community that we just has to have to do. So let us get busy to help change and bring change to life.
say, I mean, this is the day we can say, God, thank you. Oh, yes, definitely. He's working with me. Oh, yes. And he is. One thing we have to ask you to please clear the house. This please clear the doorway. Victory shall be out. Oh, yes. I'm sure you were up early. <laughs> please clear the house. Please clear the doorway. 15 this morning yes. and an hour and 10 wait. And it's well worth it. Well worth it. And I felt good worth it with the wait in. Because I'll tell you what, we're so historic about the Yes. Not just because of the fact that he's African American. Yeah. Not because of the fact that we're going to have a change in the country. Not because of the fact that we're going to have a change. you're very rich, yes. unless you're just saying, you know, I'm just racist. Right. Because if you make $300,000 in that, yeah. and you have encountered everything we've encountered with high gas prices, oh, and your children, yes. which is the majority yes. of America, yes. there's no way white, black, green, orange Whatever. that you can come across and say that I want this man. Yes. And Lord knows, have we picked that Sarah Palin, with oh. all due respect, yeah. Yeah, it's a soccer mom, but a soccer mom is not what you want running in the, the number one country in the world. Uh, you can't very well kick the ball and call it that. Come on now. That's not how it works. You know, I mean, and you don't need to read a newspaper. Right. And baby, you want to be in second in command. And you know, she, she often say that she can look over into Russia from the part of Alaska she is that she lives. And most of the people I've met today that have journeyed to Alaska say that that's impossible from where she is. You can't see Siberia from where she is. Well, here's the key. Let's say you never could see Russia. Now, I can see Russia on TV. I can see, but if you don't talk to anybody right. and you don't can't communicate, right. you don't even know how to negotiate. Right. It doesn't matter. It means nothing. Right. Yes. You can live next door to somebody yes. and still do not know exactly. how to work with one another. Yes. 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 So therefore, she got issues that she has to deal with in her own state. Right. And issues she has to deal with in her own family. Yes. Yeah, and you know what? We need someone that's going to lead this country yes. into a new direction. An example. And right now, I tell you what, it, it's a bomb of time. Yes. It's time for change. Yes. It's time for the world to come together. Yes. Yes. And it's time for us to move to a next millennium yes. to the greatness. Yes. Thank you so much. Introduce yourself to the people, please. I am Don Davis, Councilman for the Third Ward, and an advocate for Plainfield. How you doing, baby? Okay, How's everything? Keep alive and keep change alive. Oh, yes. Thank you. Sister, can you Set this up. That's the shirt I gave you earlier today, isn't it? All right.